Welcome back everybody to another video. I hope you're all doing well. Today we will need the same things as usual. So your paper, some water, some extra paper, tissues, a paintbrush, and a pencil, and of course your paint. So we'll start by drawing the outline of our ice cream cone, which is what we will be painting today. I find it easy if you start by using a pencil and something straight. So I used this piece of paper. You could use a ruler or anything else in your apartment or home. If you can't see this super well, we're drawing an upside down triangle as the bottom of our ice cream cone. It would also be helpful if you got an eraser, if you have one. And like in one of our previous videos, you can erase the edges so there's a very faint outline just so that you don't see it underneath when you paint the ice cream cone. So we'll get started by mixing together the bottom of our cone. So take a yellow and today we're focusing on mixing colors. So you can test your colors out on the paper also to see what they look like. The first important thing is that if you want the color to be super dark, you don't use a lot of water. And if you want the color to be more light like this, you just add more water. Our first word is ice cream cone, which is what we're painting today. Ice cream cone in French is cornet de glace. Once you've filled in your cone with the yellow color, we can make a slightly darker color by mixing a brown with your yellow, like this. I have two colors of brown, but if you just have one, it's not a problem. So just on one side, so here it's on the left side, you're going to have a fold of your cone where you put the darker brown. As always, it's not important for it to be perfect. So just add a little bit of dark brown, a little bit of the yellow, wherever you would like on your cone. Then the next step is to add the ridges on the cone. So you can draw a grid like this. So at first I drew straight lines on both sides to give texture to the cone.
Then I decided to draw small darker squares to add even more texture. So really do whatever you would like. As you can see, I also was playing around to see how I wanted the cone to look. And our second word for today is ice cream, which in French is crème glacée. Now, because today we want to test out mixing different colors, what we'll do, and you can follow along with me, is put a piece of watercolor paper or regular paper on top of your painting so you can test out different ice cream flavors or colors. Our first ice cream flavor will be green tea or thé verte en français. So we start by taking whatever green color you have and see what it looks like on your spare paper. So this is what mine looks like. I have one that's a bit more blue. So you mix them together. And make sure to keep adding water so it doesn't get too, too dark. Now for the color of green tea ice cream, there's a bit of a yellow undertone. So I mixed in this yellow also to find the color that I wanted. So our next word is scoop, like a scoop of ice cream or un boule de crème glacée. So you can decide how big or small you want your scoop to be and use the nice green color you just made, making sure to leave a little bit of white on the inside where you don't put your watercolor. That's another super important thing for watercolor is to leave some of the blank space Now, if you take a darker green on the edges, it will give some texture to your scoop of ice cream. Our 
Our next flavor will be chocolate. So again, I have two different colors of brown, but if you have one, it works just as well. Test it out and see if you want a bit of yellow to make it lighter or a bit of a black to make it darker. So you can draw your second scoop right on top with your paint. And again, leave a little bit that's lighter on the inside. Or just use water to spread the color from the outside into the inside. Our next flavor will be bubblegum. So I have this bright, bright blue. And if I mix it in, it makes it a bit more green with the yellow. I'm sorry, you can't see this very well. But one blue is very vibrant, turquoise. The other blue has a bit more purple in it. And it becomes almost gray, you see, if you add the yellow. And then this final blue is a nice true blue. And if you mix this one, with, for instance, a red, you get a purple. And again, we can make a similar green to the green tea just by mixing blue and yellow. But for the bubblegum ice cream, we will go back to the bright, bright blue. Now it's the same thing as last time. Pick how big you want your scoop to be. Leave a little bit of white space on the inside.
and then you can go back in with a darker blue at the edges to give it more dimension. For the bubble gum, bits inside the ice cream. I'm not sure if you've ever had it, but there's little fake bits of bubble gum inside. You can take your red and white to make a very similar color to the pink if your paint set has a pink. So I also mixed some pink with white to make it a little lighter, the color of bubble gum. Next up, we'll try to make a red bean color for our ice cream, which is a whole mix of red, blue, brown, and a bit of yellow. So we start with the red. Add a bit of blue. A bit of brown. A little bit of yellow and then you test out the color to see what it needs so to me this needs maybe a little more blue that seems like a pretty good color to me And draw your second scoop right on top.
And then for the red bean, we can add little flecks of bean with a dark color, either a brown or a black. I would recommend waiting for it to dry, but for the interest of time, I have not done so here. but it also looks nice if you let it spread. I recommend changing your water given we've been mixing up so many different colors. Now for the final part, once you're back to your painting, you get to decide what ice cream scoop you want to put on top of your ice cream cone. You could do the green tea, the chocolate, whatever you feel like. So I decided to go for a nice bright mango yellow. I mixed together a few of my different yellow colors to find a deep color that I like. If you only have one yellow, you can add a very small amount of brown to make it a little bit darker. If you've been painting all the scoops in different colors with me, you'll be an expert by now. So draw the outside, fill it in mostly with water. And then take a darker color, so a darker yellow here, to outline the outside until you're happy with how your ice cream scoop looks.
finally, we'll have a cherry on top, which is our final word and a word you might remember from a previous video. So we have cherry or cerise. So you can start with a nice red. It doesn't matter at the beginning if it's light or dark, just not too much water because the less water, the more control you have. And just like with the ice cream, make sure to leave a spot with no paint. Here I have it at the top of the cherry. Once you're happy with the outline, you can fill it in with a darker red. So then at the outside, make sure not to have too much water so you can have a very, very dark color at the edge. Finally, we will do the stem of the cherry. So take a brown color with not too much water and you can practice to see how thin your stroke will be. So that when you do it on your real painting, it's just as you want it to look. So here I needed a little bit more water. Tested it out. And now it's much darker with a little dot at the top. And that's it. Enjoy.